What's up? This is Naked Eli, the Mostly Unclothed Gamer, here with a Halo Tricks video on uh, two tricks, actually, in CR117. The first of which is the grenade jump to get us across this chasm, which is extremely difficult. I've spent many hours on this trick, and only recently did I figure out the timing in detail enough to make this consistent. So I'll share with you guys what I learned and how to do this jump consistently so that you can skip this entire basin. You don't have to go to the right and fight the pelican. You can basically just skip across to here and then head in there where Johnson and the Marines are heading. So uh, the bonus for this video, the second trick is going to be the early pelican jump, uh, which requires the use of a flare and a gravity hammer. And I didn't actually show that off in my guide, but I will show it off in this video because I think it's an awesome trick. And uh, if you don't get an invincibility at the end and you get a flare, then this will show you how to shave off uh, a good, I think it's like 15, 20, maybe even 30 seconds. Not sure on the exact number. All right, so starting off, um, we are going to do this little parabola thing where we jump right as, you see where all this grass meets like these little bushes. So I typically use that as my starting point for my jump. Okay, and you see that when I do that, I land in this little pocket right here, okay? And so this little pocket's angle as we're dropping is what's actually going to allow us to do the slide jump plus grenade combo to get across that gap. And so right now the Arbiter's chilling there, but he doesn't look like he's in our way. Um, this is on easy, so first you want to be on legendary. Uh, on first, if you're on legendary, then you'd want to kill all of these snipers because uh, if the guy hits you with the beam rifle, then you're dead in one shot. Then, once you're clear of that, you're going to actually do this jump, and you're gonna throw a frag grenade at a very specific time straight down into this pocket. And because this is dirt, this grass should catch the grenade. And because you're coming down so fast from that huge arc jump that we did, you, you hold down crouch, you jump and release crouch at the same time as you hit the bottom here. And then as just as you're jumping off, the frag should detonate, which launches you across the chasm. Okay, so that's the timing that you want. You don't want the grenade to go off while you're still attached to this. You want it to go off almost immediately after. So let's see uh, if I can show you guys a few times. We come here, throw the grenade. Right there, you saw that the grenade actually bounced off. And so that's definitely not going to work. I'm going to try this again. Notice there, my jump was probably a little too early. So you want to jump as you're hitting this, not before. And so you come up to here, throw it straight down. Then you throw it, hold down the crouch jump, and we've made it across. Okay. And once you're here, I should mention that um, you don't want to go in there before Johnson disappears. Or sorry, you don't want to activate the next cutscene before Johnson disappears or you break the game. So don't do that if you're so fast. All right, so I'll try to show you again uh, how I do it and then uh, some other ways. So right there, you see that, oh, I almost made it. You saw that my grenade shot a little bit to the left and so that wasn't going to work out. And so you really do just want to play with the timing and the placement of the grenade. You see right there, the grenade was right under me. It went off right as I was jumping. And so it worked out just fine. Um, but there's a lot of ways to screw this up. You could throw the grenade in the wrong spot. You could jump sideways like this. Um, it's an extremely, extremely difficult jump. And you want to have a bubble shield from earlier in the mission. This is why we kill brutes. So that as soon as you land, you can get in your bubble shield. Um, so we come here, jump up. And there's ways to salvage it. But you saw right there that the um, grenade went off too late. So that's not going to work either. So the timing is actually really, really, really crucial here. We come up, throw it down, see that that then shot off to the right. Um, so you're definitely gonna wanna play around with this. Maybe you don't wanna like come all the way around here. Maybe you can figure out a way that you can just jump straight up and then throw it down. Something like that works too. I just find that hugging the wall and coming down makes it a little bit more consistent for me. Um, so that's pretty much it. Just try and get a handle on it. Um, throw the grenade straight down, have it go off as you're jumping, bada bing, bada boom, and then you can follow these gentlemen into the cave and uh, make sure that Johnson disappears. Like I said, you'll see it happen right here. Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, make sure that happens because that's what teleports him over there for the next cutscene. 
All right, so next up, I'll show you the early Pelican jump. All right, so now we're at the end of the mission and we want to get in the Pelican as soon as it comes out of this valley and is in the sky right about here. Instead of waiting for it to kill all these guys, hop over to there and have us run all the way around. We're just gonna use our hammer and a flare to get inside of the Pelican and end the mission super fast. The way it works is we're gonna do a gravity hammer launch. We're gonna come up to this line right here, which is sort of close to this box and this like white line here. And we're gonna use a frag on the ground and then with a running start, launch ourselves towards the back of the Pelican, okay? Um, it is possible to do this without a flare, but it's not consistent and it's extremely difficult to pull off. So that's why I recommend getting the flare if you can from the uh, Chieftain. And it's like a 50-50 chance whether he has a flare or an invincibility. So we do this, we jump off of this, and we get in the Pelican early, just like that. And if I let the checkpoint, or if I let the mission continue, that would have actually ended the mission. All right, so the way it works is you get that checkpoint, and then we're gonna wait here for the Pelican to come. As soon as you hear Johnson start to talk, that's when you know you're in position to do this. And there again, we see it. All right, so now that I've shown you some ways that it works, let me break down the mechanics, because it is a very picky trick. So first things first is you need to learn how to jump off of um, a flare. And the way that works is you're gonna actually jump, hold down crouch at the top of your jump, and then jump just before you hit the height of your jump. All right, so we come here, we jump, we hold down crouch, and right before the top of our jump, we release the crouch button. Right there, I didn't actually hit it. So we're gonna jump, and then it's like, Maybe think of it as about when you're three quarters of the way up on your first jump, that's when you hit the flare and then you release crouch to shoot your legs down and that is what actually allows this trick to work. It literally is because when you uncrouch, you shoot your legs down into the flare, allowing you to jump off of it. Okay, so there we just did it a few times in a row. And if you're uncomfortable with hammer launching, it's very, very, very easy. You just come here, you crouch down to put the frag perfectly under your feet, and then you're just gonna back up, jump as you're going backwards, and swing the hammer, and then that's gonna give you this height. Then you turn around, and you do the trick, and you get in the pelican early. All right, um, I can show you guys some common mistakes that people make. Sometimes they're in the wrong spot, you don't wanna do that. Sometimes um, they don't turn around and they try to do the flare jump backwards. That's not gonna work because then the flare falls behind you. Uh, obviously, if you like throw it at the wrong time and you don't jump off of it properly, then that's not gonna work either. Um, and make sure you don't use the flare on some enemies before the pelican comes because you pretty much need it for this trick. All right, and so you also don't wanna go too early. I guess I could have showed you guys that. Also, right there, we got shot at. Oh, I, I landed in the back, there you go. Uh, we got shot at by the, the pelican because this grunt over here, I believe, actually came up on us. So make sure that there's no enemies in your vicinity so you don't get lit up by your own pelican. Come to here, look down, throw this, go around, jump off, and we get in, and that is the end of the mission. Sarah117 tricks in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.